Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is Mech Armada, a tactical, roguelike, uh, mech-building, insect-shooting, underrated gem of a game. Just came out of Early Access today, it is now Mech Armada 1.0. I did play this before in Early Access, but that was, ooh, be close to a year ago now. Uh, let's actually start a new profile. Let's start fresh, nothing unlocked, no advantages. Let's, let's do the new player experience for 1.0. Let's just jump in here. Form invasion to turn worldwide. Never found out where they came from. They're extremely ruthless. So many people dead. Families. We killed thousands, millions. Then we ran out of bullets, and they kept coming. Uh oh, that's not good. I didn't sleep for over two decades looking for an answer. Oh, I think you slept some. Come they on now. They me crazy. They were happy hiding in their holes. But this is going to work. It better work. My self-replicating molecular nanotechnology can spawn giant robots out of pure energy. I need your help now. That's what I'm here for. Someone has to control this thing. That's me. We're I'm going your man. To keep sending out mechs until we win. And we will win. Be better. <laughs> Actually, we'll probably fail some. Definitely possible to fail in this game. All right, this I is us. I'm going to show you how to operate the Mech Armada. All right. Left click on your mech and advance to the energy tile using left click again. On it. We're done for now. Indeed. The system will reveal the swarm's move and attack range when you left click on them. Now end Handy your to turn. know. And your mech will collect three energy points. So yes, these tiles with energy. Um, that's it's where you want to be. To test out your weapons. This is the energy Let's is how you uh, we can do. get new mechs. Select your mech. Activate the weapon under actions. And select the swarm to fire. So if we move in here, we, do, it, it, we are in the red zone. But if he's dead, this troll's dead. And none of the other ones can reach us, right? Go. Click the weapon. They will be dead. This weapon does have variable damage, this but no matter what, you can we have enough to kill. Mechs using the energy you collected. Choose a mech blueprint from the left panel and spawn it next to your mech. All right, so we can spend six and get another of the same mech. Or we can spend two and get this mech with a crappy machine gun that I hate and I never use. <laughs> um, wait, can we edit it? No, can't edit yet. Okay, so let's just spawn in another one of this. Put it there. It take it has uh power up. yeah. Can't can't move okay. and move them to you turn can the take command. It from here. Once this battle is won, I'll show you what else the Mech Armada can do. All right, Professor. Wait, what's the professor's name? Do we know? Does it say? Does it say that? Does it say his name? All right, so we can just shoot here, and we'll chill on the energy tile, and turn and turn. Collect all the energy. There is a cap on the energy tiles, I'm pretty ah, sure. Excellent. It works. That indicator predicts what the swarm will do. Yeah, They'll we know. go after that mech next turn, unless you do something about it. Here we're on it, don't worry. So if we look in the bottom right corner there, it says there's three energy left. Right? So let's uh let's move you away. And we'll collect the last three energy here. Depleted. All right, so we can't collect any more, so there's no reason to stick around. You are dead. Bye bye. Beautiful. All right, so we have 14 energy. We have 15 credits. Uh, so credits are how Perfect. we. Well done. This is the Mecha developer Mecha control Max. center. After each battle, you'll collect energy points and engineering credits. Use the credits to improve your mechs by developing new parts. Okay. Go to engineering now and select a new weapon. So there's the body, there's the weapon, and there's the transport. Either legs or, you know, tank treads or wheels or there's flying mechs. So let's develop a weapon. So we always get to pick between two. So we got a minigun. So it does two to four damage three times. Which... And has a range of two. It costs five energy to spawn in. Uses two means we can use this on two different mechs. Um, uh, so 
the thing about this minigun is if you have something that boosts damage, it gets really powerful. Like, say you can boost the damage to three to five. Because you're doing that three times, you're getting a lot of extra damage. But if you go up against enemies that have armor, this doesn't do much damage, right? Because the armor applies on all three hits. And we also have a mini missile, which does six damage with a range of two. Now, obviously, this is this is six to twelve damage, right? This is just six damage. So in theory, this is better. But like I said, the armor and also this costs five. This only costs two. And we can use this five times. Let's just grab the mini missile. It's just a good all-around weapon. Now let's equip it so we can use it in battle. Go to mechs and edit a mech blueprint. Yes, sir. All right, so let's edit this blue one. So here you can mix and match parts. Be mindful. There Each we go. Each part is different. So now it has a mini missile on it, so it's slightly better. Ah, yes. And remember this. You have to use energy to spawn new mechs in the field. Oh, and if you want to change parts for existing mechs, you can do that too. Oh, I can do that too. Try it now. Select a mech and choose transform. Transform. Like with spawning mechs, transforming costs energy. I'm not going to transform just yet. Okay. Now, from campaign, you can see what battles lie ahead. Indeed. Once you advance to an encounter, you can preview it and start it in battlefield. You can do this. Let's show them what the Mecha yeah. Armada can do. Let's do this. So, obviously, we pick up energy here. This is credits. This is meta energy. This is the thing that lets us um, get upgrades between runs. Uh, so, it doesn't help us during the run. But obviously it does after now this is a part so if we go over this we unlock this part it's an energy shield gives um i think what i think what it's showing right now though is the fully upgraded version of it but it's basically a shield that counters the damage when it's upgraded oh uh, energy we got some energy Ooh, two meta energy there that's probably maybe we'll go that way but before we go there let's uh Let's unlock a new body. So this is the main body of the mech, obviously. So this is a missile head. It has six health, zero armor, two weapon slots, but it comes equipped with a mini missile, which is the thing that we already have. <laughs> so in theory, this will have, this will have three weapons, right? Because it has the, the mini missile plus two. This is a turbo, um, has three health, moves. So what this means is whatever mech you put this on is going to move one further but it's squishy it only has one weapon slot but it's cheap right it only costs two to spawn in um i'm actually going to go with the missile head i think although it is expensive all right so let's buy a transport here so we got a walker six health two moves you can move after action so you can move one fire and then move away similar to that yellow mech that we already have or we can go up to tracks nine health um two moves no armor moves further on roads but can't use rough tiles cost four so they both cost four so the tracks are, are tankier um same moves so it's just a question of okay so this one moves further on roads but can't use rough tiles and is tankier or is moving after action better I do like moving after action. So let's go with the walker. I like the walker. I like that flexibility. All right, so we have six credits. So let's, uh, let's grab another weapon. So you'll notice every time you do this, this the amount goes up. Um, ooh, I like the gunner drone. So this is a, a drone that you can spawn that does damage, but more importantly, you can use it like as, as bait, essentially, or a damage gun. So these are both good for a support mech, which we're not really in a position to have just yet. So this damage gun, remember when I was talking about that mini gun where I said if you can buff damage, it's good? This is, a, this is the type of thing that would make that good. But we didn't take that. We took the other thing. So let's just take the gunner drone. And let's see if we can make another mech here. It's going to be probably pretty expensive, though. Yeah, it costs 11, and that's before we put any weapons on it. So 
would cost 21 to spawn. I do not have 21. Question is, can I even get to 21? Is there a cap on energy? It doesn't appear to be a cap on energy. All right, let's go into the next campaign here. Um, Do I want six energy or seven energy? <laughs> well, I guess it depends. Am I going this way or this way? I think I want to go this way and get the two meta energy, right? So let's go here, so pick up seven energy. And let's go uh, get into a fight here. Love is a battlefield. All right, so we can spawn in one of these, but that this will be it. That's all our energy, but I mean, this thing's a beast. Although, it could, it could have better weapons. But relative to what I already have, it's a beast. There's not a whole lot coming at me. So the meta energy, the uh, between hmm, runs, interesting. That kind currency. Of energy gets sent to the control center immediately. There's always some on the field. So we keep it even if we lose all the mechs. We can use it for improvements. I'll call it meta energy. All right. You'll need to get to it before the swarm does. That's true. But they gotta go around all this junk. Well, the supplier can get there. The supplier could be dangerous because it has its attack has a range of two as well. So it might get some hits in. These trolls I'm not too worried about though. This is why ah, yes. we like the if gunner drone. Mistake moving, you can undo it. Yes. However, you can't undo actions. Can undo moves, but not actions. So I have two choices here. I can get on the energy with the gunner drone, or I can get the meta energy. Let's, uh, gunner drone flies as well. Let's get on the energy. And move you there, move you there. Okay, so there's three extra energy. Beautiful. Ooh, there's some reinforcements coming in. That thing's a little tankier. But this thing can still one-shot it. It does 12 damage. That's, that's our threshold right now. As long as stuff hits for less than, or has less than 12 health, we're in good shape. All right, so let's, uh, let's use the gunner drone for bait. Do some damage. Move that up there, but I don't think it can reach anything. You up there. All right, so we got the mana energy. So far, no casualties. Losing the gunner drones, whatever, right? I mean, we can scrap it for energy, but... Wow, more reinforcements. Okay. Alright, so because this gun has variable damage, theory, we might kill this, but we could leave it with anywhere from 1 to 4 health as well. So we left it to 3 health. That's less than ideal. But we can move away... And now it can't hit anything. Right? Um, you can finish off that thing. Okay. Oh, and you can step up there. Let's spawn in one of these blue little things. It's nothing, nothing special, but it's got a missile pod. Or mini, mini missile, I shouldn't say missile pod. Missile pod is an actual thing that does something completely different. Yeah, no action available, but nothing's in range. I mean, I could have moved off and killed that, but then I'm not on the energy. What I should have done, so I should have moved off, killed that, and then spawned this on the energy. I didn't. <laughs> All right, so move up here. Let's see if we can finish this thing off. No, leave it at two. Let's see if the gunner drone can finish it off. Okay, right, so that's dead. All right, so we're taking some damage over here, though. Potentially. You can step up and kill this thing. Okay, so the horn, it can reach him, but only him. Where does this troll move? Where does this wimp move? Oh, so the wimp, you want to, you want to try to one-shot it if possible. So it gains armor after being attacked. Um, so if I come here, I can kill the Hornet, right? And then pot shot them. Because they're down to six. Drop a gunner drone. Another gunner drone. 
move you onto the energy. And end turn. Yeah, it's funny gunner drones can move the turn they come into play. How much does four damage? Oh, uh, no, I'm good with it. It's just chilling there. So the, the reinforcements come forever. See, the whole reinforcement thing. Um, oh, so this just survives. We don't even need to kill everything. I mean, we're going to. Um, so you can step up. Kill there. So the wimps. Okay, so if we hit it for six, it'll be down to two, but it'll get four armor. Okay, so we can finish it off with this this guy. Uh, let's you come over here. There. Oh, we can't get at it because of the terrain. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Yeah, that's that's not a big deal, though. Um, yeah, all this terrain's kind of in the way. So I'm going to lose my drones. And, yeah, and yes, if I could have kept them alive, I could have used them to... Uh, I could have sacrificed them and got some extra energy, but... I'm doing pretty well for energy right now. Okay, we got a few credits, so we can unlock more parts as well. Let's unlock another weapon. Okay, so missile pod. Remember earlier how I said there was a missile pod? So it does six damage at a range of two, which is the same as the other missile, but it attacks in an area, as you can see, like across. So it hits five tiles. Um, it has a cooldown of one, so you can only use it every second turn. It's pretty good, though, especially against bosses, because bosses occupy four tiles. So if you use that on them, you, you hit them three times. So it does 18 damage to a boss if you put it in the right place. And we got Neutralizer, which is debuff. And maybe this has changed since last time I played, but I don't love debuffs in this game, because most bosses are immune to debuffs. In my experience. And again, it may have changed. There's been bosses added. There's been lots of balance done. Like this missile pod didn't used to have a cooldown. Right? So. Alright, so we can do... We can make another mech here. Well, we don't have many options though, right? But I mean, we can just make a similar one. One we already have. So it has the it has the missile instead of the uh, instead of the drone. Other than that, it's the same. But we don't have enough energy to spawn it yet. But hopefully, we can get enough. All right, so we can get the energy shield. Yeah, let's get the energy shield. So we'll probably put that into place at some point. Um, for now, though, I mean. Beat the swarm to beat the swarm. Now let's go this way. Yeah, so there's two bosses each run too, so I don't even know if I know this boss, honestly. Alright, so do I want to spend some energy spawning in another little guy? Or do I want to save up for the big beefy beefcake? Probably beefcake. Let's get you here. Yeah, let's use you in the middle... I'm going to kind of use this blue mech as bait. Because um, he's, he's cheap. He's four to make, right? So he's going to die. Right? Like that's... We know we know that. All right, naturally, let's talk about these guys. So their attack attacks three tiles in a row. So if I had a mech here and a mech here, it would come up, it would hit all three. That would be bad. So we have to... <laughs> We have to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, I can go over... Uh, for some reason, I was thinking I couldn't go over these rough tiles. But I can. How far can he reach? Okay, he can't reach there. So we can gunner drone. We can get the, make sure we get the meta energy here. How much damage? Okay, so he's a six, so he is going to kill that thing. That's fine. Although, you can certainly make the argument that that wasn't smart. But I just did. Because I essentially sacrifice the four energy mech to get three energy but i guess he got a hit in though too right 
Ooh, there's some stuff coming. 16 health over here. That's kind of scary. That doesn't have any armor. It hits for 8 and knocks back. Okay. Right, how do I want to play this here? Um, let's just kill this one. Get that out of the way. Move that from the equation. You step up here, kill this one. Okay, so he's going to step up and he's going to kill that one. Unless I can bait him with the gunner drone. Okay, so he's going to go for the drone instead. Well, I could... Wait. I mean, I could step up and if I get really lucky with my roll, it could kill. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. So I guess we're just going to stay back. Let him come for the drone. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. All right, so is this a survive so many turns? No, I need to kill everything. Yikes. <laughs> 16. That's a lot of damage, but we can do 16 damage in a turn. Just not yet. <laughs> not with a single mech. I need multiple mechs to do 16 damage in a turn. All right, let's get on this energy. There's, there's more energy back here, but just feel like I'm never going to get back there, right? Alright, well, we're not taking any damage this turn. That's important. Alright, what do these things do? Okay, it only has 6 health, but it does hit for 5. So I'd rather not take many of those if possible. Oh, man. He's in a bot that is not good for me. Uh, do I have a drone? Oh, I have a drone again. Alright, well, let's... You can go here. Kill him. Well, maybe kill him. Okay, good. So let's step back. Step up there. Drone. Okay, use the drone as bait again. So this is why I like the drone. You can, I'm, I'm sure you're starting to see the value of the drone. But hey, um, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. All right now we can do damage to him enough to kill him this turn. Pretty easily. So we do 12 here. And step up here. He dies, then this guy steps over here. Hopefully kills this thing. Now it would it is possible to not kill there, but I did get the kill. And I have enough for this thing now. Where are they at? Yeah, yeah, let's put them up aggressively. And the good thing about these is they can take a hit, right? But I, I should note that you do not heal between fights. There is like abilities you can get that let you heal between fights. But I don't have the means. A lot of missiles. We got a mini missile, two mini missiles, and a missile pod. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna get on those energies because this energy at the back is depleted. So there's no point in staying back there. I mean, I could spawn in another one of these little things. Eh. We can wait. Oh, another one of these. Holy crap! So yeah, these these every level, every mission's a lot longer than it used to be. Like it used to just be like kill three to six uh, of the swarm, and then you move on. Right now, it seems to be a lot more. Um, he can't reach me, so I'm hesitant to use this because you can only use it every second turn. But we can actually hit them with it. So that's the cross pattern. Now, one thing to note too is there is friendly fire. So you can, you can kill your own units with that. But hey, we can finish with the drone now. Yeah, we'll get on this energy, I guess. Collect a little. 
I don't think I'm going to get on the one up the top, though. Alright, so we'll use him for bait. Which is fine. Everything is fine. Nothing to see here. But there's so many weapons and body types, like so many different bonuses. This game is wild that way. Right, so we go boom. And boom. And boom. Nice. Alright, so I did lose one mech, but it was a little mech that I was willing to sacrifice, right? We got 10 credits for that. That's a lot of credits. So we'll go energy, we'll go meta energy. Let's go to engineering. Um, so we got 10, so we can do one thing. Let's get another body here. We got the Maximus. Four health, no armor, two weapon slots. All parts are upgraded by one level. So each part can be upgraded twice. And, uh... We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's see what this does, though. Five health, zero armor, one weapon slot. Ooh, plus one action. I've never had that one before. Let's go. I want to do the Maximus, though. Having parts automatically upgraded is amazing. So if we go in here, they cost uh, credits, which we don't have. But just for example, let's look at the mini mist pod. Two extra damage, straight up, right? Same as the missile pod. Double, double, extra damage. Uh, Gunner Drone has um, does extra damage. The shield does extra shielding, obviously, right? But you, you can kind of see, you know, and you get... So once per turn, refunds an action. But yeah, we're not at the point we're going to be upgrading yet, but being able to have this thing... So let's go with Walker one more time, I guess. And the Maximus for weapons I guess missiles away <laughs> we want another drone or I mean the double double is not bad especially when it's upgraded let's go double double I mean we can change these later right and just the mini missile I want something that's a little cheaper right like 14 is reasonable oh and you can rename your max if anybody has any idea for names for any of these mechs, throw it in the comments. I will likely use them. So we are now on to the boss, but that will be in the next episode. That's going to be all for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe. Join my Discord. Follow me on Twitter. Support me on Patreon. Links in the description down below to all those. Most importantly, though, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.